Hi everyone. So today it's time to wire up this Shelly 1PM, a 16 amp smart switch with built-in uh, power monitoring, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So we're going to wire this up, power it up, connect it via Wi-Fi to the home network and fix the IP address. So let's get started. So first of all, let's get it out of the box. There we are. So here it is. So you can see here, I'll just turn it up the other way. So you can see here, we need to put power uh, live here to this bank of three and neutral to one of these two here. So first of all, let's get some cable and get that powered up. So what I've done, I was throwing out an old um, uh, lamp and uh, I thought I'd cut this cable off. It's got a plug already on it. I did have a 13 amp fuse. I've put a three amp fuse in it for now, but I thought I'd keep these sort of things. They're ideal for test rigs when you want to start powering things up. So this won't be the final wiring. This is just to get it powered up uh, so that I can uh, head over to the web interface and get it connected to my home network. So first thing we need to do is expose the two cables. This is just twin core. There's no earth required on the Shelly unit. So if we just split this, and expose a couple of the cables. Pull the PVC sheath back, just trim that back to neaten it up a bit. Just chop these down to a smaller workable length. And what I'm gonna do is use these ferrules. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, you, videos, you'd have seen me use ferrules. Ferrules provide a much more secure and mechanical connection, much, much safer in my opinion. Um, if you've not seen my other videos, have a look. I'd really recommend it. Ferrules definitely the way forward. So first thing to do is just strip back so you can expose the copper core. Give yourself maybe a centimeter or so, as you can see here. Twist the cables around just to neaten them up so they go into the ferrule a bit easier. So you can see there, I'm just twisting them round. These are 1.5 mil squared. So if you just look at the box here, uh, that's gonna be this red one, I think. Let's just put that in. So all you do, push it on so that the outer core is all the way seated in. And then all you do is get a crimping tool like this. These kits can be bought quite cheaply off eBay or Amazon. Just push it on and then push it in, pull the ratchet, and that gives you this massively secure connection. If you look carefully, you can see the crimping marks that's pushed down on the cable. Um, that is so secure. So let's just do the other one. Okay, so that's both done. So we just need to connect that up now to the Shelly. So just to remind ourselves, we've got a bank on the right, which is neutral, and then a bank in the middle, which is live. I'm in the UK, so the color code here is brown live and blue neutral. So if we just offer that, offer that up to those terminals there. Okay, then once they're in, just tighten those up. Just nip them up, not too hard, just enough to keep them in place. You don't want to overstress the connectors. There they are, if I tug on those, that's really secure. Next thing to do is power them up. So I've got an extension lead here. So if I just plug that in, and then if you look on the back of the Shelly, you'll see a flashing light. So the Shelly now is booting up and it's flashing to say that it's transmitting its own SSID. So you need to go to a computer now and then navigate to that SSID so that you can then lock the IP address uh, down to your local area network. So let's do that. Uh, I'll head over to the computer and uh, we'll get it all set up. Okay, so we're on the laptop. So the first thing we want to do is to connect directly to the Wi-Fi. Uh, of the Shelly 1PM, so it will be broadcasting its own SSID. So first thing we need to do is have a search for nearby SSIDs, have a scroll through, you can see that one there, Shelly plus 1PM, so that's the one, so click on that, connect, 
allow that to connect. Then once that's connected, we want to open up uh, a browser. So let's open up a browser. We're just waiting for that to connect. And then by default, the IP address will be 192.168.33.1. Dot one, I believe that's standard for Shelley, and then just press enter, and there we are. So we are now straight on the web interface uh, for the Shelley 1 pm browser. So the next thing we need to do is to configure the Wi Fi settings so that this will always take the same IP address uh, on your home router. So let's do that. So start here just at the top right where it says configure Wi Fi settings. So just left click on that. So make sure you click on enable Wi-Fi network to switch that on. Uh, make sure that it says password protected uh, Wi-Fi network is checked. Then use the drop down box to select your home Wi-Fi SSID. And then you need to just type in the password for your home Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you can choose at this point to select static IP uh, here on the Shelly itself, uh, or you can head over to your router and you can select a static IP there. I prefer to do that. The only problem with setting a static IP on the Shelly device itself, if you power that Shelly down, when it goes to get a, a, to request that same IP address from your router, it may well have been handed out to another device and that's gonna cause you some connectivity issues. So I, you can do it here if you want to. I prefer to do it on the router. Most routers let you set a static IP address. So I'll go ahead and do that in a second. Anyway, once you've entered your SSID and your password, just click on save settings. At the bottom there it says save um, successful. And then you can see at the top here, it says connected to my Asus router uh, at 192.168.1. Uh, dot 192. So it looks like it's got the address 192 uh, on my router. So I just need to go and fix that on the router. So to do that, we need to switch back uh, to your home SSID. So first of all, let's do that. So I need to select my home SSID, which is this one, and I'll press connect. So once you've logged into your router, mine's an Asus router. So if yours is an ASUS, just follow along. If yours is not an ASUS, the process will be fairly similar. Um, so uh, just follow along here. So first of all, if I just check on my network list of connected devices, I should be able to see on here uh, the Shelly 1PM. There it is. And it's the 192.168.1.92. So in order for me to fix that IP address, my router I just need to go to LAN once I'm on LAN uh, DHCP server scroll down and then just click on connected devices look for the Shelly which is here there's the current IP address 192 I want mine to be 248 only because uh, my um, other Shelly device which is a uh, power energy monitoring unit is 247 so I'm just going to keep them in sequence and then all you do scroll to the bottom and then press apply so the next time the Shelly is powered off and powered on again it will pick up that new assigned IP address you'll also see a difference uh, in the flashing LED on the back of the Shelly 1pm uh, when it's not connected to your local area network it will be flashing in red as you can see here and then as soon as it connects to your local area network that will go to solid red as you can see here Okay, so now with the new IP address fixed on the router, if I just open up another tab on the browser and type in the new fixed IP address, which was 192.168.1.248 and press enter, it should then head over to the Shelly interface. So there we are. So we've now connected and fixed the IP address uh, of the Shelly 1PM onto the local area router. First thing to do before we start using it is just make sure we're on the latest firmware. So if you just select settings from the left-hand menu 
scroll, scroll all the way down and there's a menu item called firmware. Just click on that. And you'll see it's gonna check for any new firmware. So here it says um, there is a new version available. So all I need to do is click on update. And that's gonna take um, a couple of minutes, I would imagine. And uh, then you're on the latest version, ready to go. And there we are, all done. Oh, there's a confirmation message to say the shell has been updated to the latest version and it's rebooting. So you can just head back to the home page. So that's all for today. Uh, we've got that connected. I'm gonna play with the device now for a few days and then I'll come back and go through all of the settings and various features that I've been able to discover. And I'll do that in a second video. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and uh, maybe even hitting that notification bell and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.